what's up guys today is july 4th 2015 uh you know uh, i know i post my videos pretty late but anyways happy 4th of july <laughs> even though this video is probably going to be coming up around july 15th to july 20th but uh anyways you know it's july 4th uh and as a good holiday that it is here in the united states of america i decided to go out fishing right so today we decided to explore this place uh it's a it's actually a nameless pond that i found on google map but it is inside this cinnaminson township park that is called memorial and something else park so you know we're gonna walk all the way to the back of this park and there should be a lake there that has absolutely no name but it is a tributary to the pensalkin creek in new jersey so, you know, we will be looking for snakeheads one more time and hopefully we will be able to catch some. I'll keep you guys updated. I gotta tell you folks, this place is actually uh, pretty nice. You know, this little park, there's like a place for you to play like baseball. Then there's a little place for hockey right here. Some soccer on the other side. And then they have like this paved trail for people to jog. Like there's that old man right in front there jogging. Some guys exercising at the back. Nice little place, you know. So if the if the lake at the back is actually fishable, you know, this is this would be a good place for you to bring your family. Especially if you have kids, you know, want to do some uh, some sports, some exercise, you know, that's some good stuff right here. I, I've never been here before. It's my first time, so you know, I'm quite surprised myself. Anyways, we're going to take a look at the condition of this lake, this unnamed lake, and see if we can fish it or not. It should be filled with lily pads and vegetation, so like perfect conditions for snakeheads. Alright folks, quick update. I've fished this nameless place for a little while now. Uh, no bites whatsoever. However, I'm going to a spot that it looks very promising, which is the bridge that it divides this nameless place with the Pensalkin Creek. I'm going to be arriving over there shortly. I'm going to give a couple casts now over here that I have open water, throw a Senko, see if there are any snakeheads around, and we'll see if I will catch anything. Oh, that was a bite. I'm pretty sure that was a bite. Maybe that was a snag. Fish on. Fish on, folks. Fish on. Yeah. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, man. A little largemouth bass. Well, fish is better than nothing, right? That's what they say. So little largemouth bass on the Thomas inline spinner EP series from the Pensalkin Creek. There we go. Let me take a quick photo, quick photo, quick release. All right. Uh oh, what's going on with the camera? Come on camera, now it's time for it to work. There we go. That's all we need. All right, let's release this little fella back. Well, at least we know that there was a fish over here now, you know, folks? That's usually how it goes. All right, bye. First fish of the day in this place, a small largemouth. All Do you still have do you still have night crawlers? Yeah. Give me one moment. Let me just reel this one in. Oh my goodness, a white perch. There we go. White perch from the nameless creek. Okay. 
No. Yeah, you have Nightcrawler? Great. Let's take a photo of the white perch. Oh, it makes sense that white perch are in here. After all, Penn Salkin is a tributary of the Delaware. And the water gets in here. Well, let's see if there's anything close by. Never know. Yes. Oh no, but this one's too big. All right, fellas. An authentic bluegill from this place. Lepomis macrocerus. They're everywhere, but this one's too big. <laughs> we need a four incher or a three incher to use it as bait. And so continue. Quick update, folks. Uh, I caught a white perch, a bluegill, a little small largemouth bass, and that's pretty much it for today. I wanted to explore this place a little bit more, but you know, it started to rain, so I have to leave now. Yeah, maybe maybe next time. But there are definitely northern snakeheads here. I've seen them jump, jump a lot, and next time I'm definitely gonna come here just to target them. Oh, fish on. Let's see what we got here. Oh man, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> A red breast sunfish from the Pensalkin Creek. Oh man, all right. I mean, you know, it's still red breast sunfish. Oh boy. I decided to move from the nameless lake to the Pensalkin Creek for a little bit no bites whatsoever this is the only fish I got here so far and I'm about to leave so there we go a red breast sunfish from the Pensacola Creek all right folks final update I went to a nameless pond slash lake in Sinamisen today caught one white perch uh, a couple of bluegill and one little largemouth bass then I decided to switch over to the Pensalkin Creek, which is right here. I'm literally fishing right next to the road. Caught one little red breast sunfish and nothing else. So now I'm just going to give it two more casts. And after that, I'm just going to leave. Rain's getting pretty strong now, you know, and thunderstorm is coming as well. So may as, may as well leave while I can. Hopefully in the afternoon, I'll be able to do some fishing with my friend Peter if it doesn't rain. So we will see how it goes. But yeah, for today, no snakeheads. This is like my fifth trip this year that I've been doing uh, without a single snakehead. Oh, What's up, YouTube? So this morning, I fished a lake in Sinaminson, New Jersey. And now I'm here with my friend Peter and my dad at Falls Township Lake in Falls Township. We're gonna try to catch some fish over here, see what's available. I'll keep you guys updated. Fish on, fish on folks, fish on, whatever this is. Oh, oh my goodness. 
It's a large mouth bass though. It's a large mouth bass. That was a really poor landing skill, but thankfully the fish fell on the grass. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm trying to salvage the fish so it doesn't die. You know, it fell off the hook into the grass. Oh boy. Oh, there we go. Finally got it. Oh, small, small, large mouth bass. There we go. My first one ever from Falls Township. Time to let this little fella go. Oh boy. Take your time. He suffered quite a little bit. All right, he's a goner though. Oh, fish on. Oh, <laughs> taco. <laughs> a little small mouth bass, a little large mouth bass here. Oh, man. These large mouth bass are falling too easy today. Let's see. Yeah, large mouth bass. Little largemouth bass here from Falls, Falls Township. There we go. Oh, it's just a regular bluegill. All right. Small bluegill from Falls Township Lake. There we go. At least we know there's a bluegill here now. Quick photo. Quick release. I'm jigging an eye crawler. A small jig. Fish short. I got a small largemouth bass. Small largemouth bass. Got my little jig head on the night with an eye crawler. There we go. Little largemouth bass from Falls Township. But I still want a walleye. Exactly. The fishing pressure. The yeah the, the the locals there you know it's so heavily pre fished. Yeah, fished it's it's crazy. That's one thing about snakehead fishing is like on all the waters that are public the fish uh -huh. are you know heavily pressured. Give me one moment, Peter. Let me just okay. catch this little green sunfish right here so I can add to the species list for today. Perfect. All right. And he did it. Don't worry, the little fish is right here. And you can. I don't know, man. Green sunfish there are pretty, we go. pretty wise. Oh, know? there we go. <laughs> oh, wait, yes. Wait. You put anything in front of their face and they eat it. Green sunfish from Falls Township Lake. Yeah, because, you know, I always catch one species, right? And I add, like, I think you saw my folders, right? It's like, my green sunfish folder is one green sunfish from every place yes. where I ever fished at. Yeah, spawning collars, man. See those vertical stripes? Yeah. Beautiful. I don't see too many in lakes, green sundies. I tend to find more in creeks. 
That's very true. Like I find a ton of them in penny pack, and you told Here you me go, you folks. Green penny sunfish, penny spawning collars, the vertical stripes, little shiny things here, yellow collar. Beautiful. All right. Bye bye.